everyone welcome back to my channel and today we are going to see another kind of a uh, collar neck kameez and for this project I took uh, two and a half meters of this uh, four color fabric black green and royal blue per uh, maroon and uh, green color so this is a combination of more than five colors in one kameez and this kameez is going to be different from the normal kameez because uh, this is the draft of the kameez i'm not good at drawing so please forgive me see this is going to be the draft of the kameez so for the neckline i'm going to give a deep v for the neckline and i'm going to add a collar band around the neckline and from that neckline v i'm going to put a slit down till the knee length or ankle length whatever you want to sew and um, and I am going to add piping for this slit open and also I'm going to give open on either side so I'm uh, going to add piping for either side of the slit so when you make a front opening kameez like this make sure that you have uh, at least a two colors at the bottom make sure that you buy a fabric which has a two to three colors at the bottom if not if you want if you bought a plain color fabric make a trim at least a two trim at the bottom cutting of the kameez so i marked the important mark points for the uh, kameez that is the uh, shoulder mesh the neck measurement the shoulder point and the armhole point and this is going to be the slit point okay make an angle the one inch seam elements what I'm giving and here we have to have a slit the chart opening and also for the piping for the kameez I bought a plain fabric a green color fabric for this and I just cut the fabric into a long strip a straight fab uh, strip this is not a bias it's just a straight cutting and the width of the fabric would be three and a half inches and also i made a piping this is a double side piping you can keep on this side or else you can turn the piping and you can keep it on the side it it has a very neat edge you don't find any kind of raw edge or thread running here and there and if you want to know how to make this piping you can just click on the link that you see on the screen or else you can check on the description box I just uploaded the uh, link of the uh, piping okay now let let us cut this out first Take one inch for seam elements. Okay. Now I place the lining fabric on top of my uh, kameez fabric. And I'm going to cut the seam out. See my from the back neck shoulder uh, neckline, the shoulder, and the armhole. Uh, come 
crease like this so that in that way you make the crease mark for the center point of your kameez that's the very important step while making a front opening kameez so both sides press tightly and firmly so that you make the center and I'm going to cut exactly on this line Once it's cut down into two pieces the next step is to add a piping on both the sides of the kameez and then you're going to turn that piping in and you're going to sew it again and the third step is you're going to add the lining without cutting the center you just have to add the lining to the fabric for the neckline after attaching the um, piping and after attaching the lining you're going to add the uh, you're going to make the neckline so you're not going to make the neckline right now and for the marking of where the front slit end is I just want to make a open exactly over this maroon color line so if my lining is more than this point if my imagine if the lining is more than this point we are not cutting the lining into so when you get to this point you're going to make a lining a small slit like this and you're going to fold it in and you're going to sew so we are only this part you're going to cut into the lining and apart from that you're going to close this along and you're going to cut the neckline deep into this so this part will be closed and you're going to make an open over here okay and let us see the stitching of this coming so this is going to be the pretty side of the fabric and this is the one side that I'm going to sew. So this is the uh, piping which I made before. So in this side of the piping you can see the thread over here. So the place where you have the thread should be facing on your uh, left hand side that is inside the cloth not to the outside. So just keep this thread on the margin just sew on the exact margin of the uh, piping See, once it's sewn together it looked like this this is the place where the thread is running and this is the uh, folded edge of the piping so it's very simple just fold it and you will get a very neat edge and inside you can see the piping is very neat and uh, you're going to sew on the exact corner of the thread And I'm sewing the next side of the kameez too.
take the lining fabric like this okay and this is the lining fabric and uh, you're going to pay, place this kameez on top of that so you're going to pay, place this kameez If you want you can secure it with uh, pins okay so we are going to start sewing from this shoulder to that shoulder uh, this is just a basting stitch so that we are going to remove this stitch once the kameez is ready so this is going to be the big stitch in your uh, machine From here, I sew my armhole the same basting stitch. Okay, now I join the shoulders and the armhole, and now I'm going to just place this as it is, and I'm going to sh uh, sew on the line what we uh, sewn before while turning the piping so i'm just going to sew on top of that just making as a margin for my sewing so just make sure again that the lines are parallel if you bought a fabric like this line is falling so keep it hold the both the part together and so so I just pressed the lining fabric so keeping that as a mark, I'm just sewing. And at this point, you have to decide how much a slit you're going to give for the front side of the kameez. And for me, I think I took um, 11 inches. And if you want, you can keep for 12 and 13 inches. But uh, I took 11 inches. It absolutely depends upon you. How much you want, you can just keep it out. So I just stopped over here and I'm going to cut this thread and start sewing to the next side of the kameez. Okay, now you can see I stopped searching over this part and you can see how much fabric is hanging over. So take the center of the fabric and I'm going to cut this in like this. Okay, and I'm going to 
fold this in towards the piping and you're going to can sew this along. of the slit and you don't find any kind of lining fabric hanging out over here and it's been tucked in very neatly so now I'm going to join the back piece sewing the front piece and back piece we have to measure the how much uh, neck depth you're going to keep so in my case I'm going to keep my neck depth to 8 inches so I'm going to put a mark over here for 8 inches okay and I'm going to uh, cut this in for 2 inches and I'm going to shape this After marking the 8 inch or 7 inch of for your neck depth, just you're going to cut the slit inside and you're going to open it wide. See? Somewhat like this and you can cut a notch fold that in and you can sew it okay after we're done with the front piece just fold the fabric into half and now we are going to give a shape for the front neck so I'm just taking a two to three inches over here and I'm going to cut this in and I'm going to give a curve to the neckline So now I just cut this in okay once it's cut it out you get somewhat like this and now you're going to join the front piece and the back piece together okay now place the shoulder together like this and you're going to start sewing Now I show you how to make a collar neck and many of my video I showed you how to make a collar neck so for now today I'm going to use a interfacing which is made up of fabric okay so now I just folded the back piece like this to mark the notch so make a small notch over here and now I'm going to measure the full length of the neckline so this is the front part of the neckline and with the help of the tape I'm placing the tape over here and I'm just going according to the curve of the neckline and don't pull the fabric ease with the fabric and see 
okay my neckline falls on 8.2 inches so I'm going to mark for 8.2 inches on my canvas so exact measurement this is a folded edge so my our kameez is also a folded kameez so we took the measurement for the one side of the kameez so that I folded my canvas into half so from here I'm going to take exactly 8.2 okay so you can see 8.2 over here so first I mark exactly 8.2 from here okay and from the folded edge you're going to mark 3 inches this 3 inches is nothing but the back side of the uh, kameez so that's going to be a straight line okay so this is going to be the straight line for um, three inches and from that I'm going down slope like this so here my uh, 8.2 inches falls so I just draw the line okay here is going to be my 8.2 inches and from there I'm going to take uh, one inch it's absolutely depend upon you if you want you can take two inch or one and a half inches so but I'm taking only one inch so make sure you draw the exact one inch line so now while cutting make sure you curve this point it too straight so curve this in a little bit For today's project, I'm going to show you how to press the canvas with your uh, neck fabric, so the collar neck fabric. So I just placed my iron box ready and I'm now placing it like this. I'm really afraid to use the ironing box on very thin fabric, I feel it will burn. So always for safety measurement put a one cotton cloth on top of that and then iron okay now it's done okay i think it's really better to buy a fabric canvas it looks really simple and very light fabric so now by leaving a quarter inch of seam allowance, uh, I'm going to cut this out. You can see how firmly it's stuck to my, to my material. And leaving a quarter inch seam allowance all around, I'm going to cut this out. okay now my lightweight interfacing is ready now i'm going to sew this to this fabric i think whether i can add this blue color it's really nice but i don't think you have enough fabric to play around with i'm going to sew exactly at the margin of the canvas start exactly from here and sew all around to the margin of the canvas and end till here
believe me I had a really tough time to iron the uh, interfacing which has been made with paper and the cloth but this lightweight interfacing works really great and now I'm going to trim this out uh, leaving the same quarter inch of elements all around it is sewn with a collar like this so the the material where the canvas is tucked should be folded in like this okay and you're going to put a stitch on top of that I press the collar in half so that I'll get the center point. So start from the neckline and check whether it's coming exactly to the center of the collar band. Okay, so now Okay, open the collar like this and place the one side of the fabric. This is the plain fabric on underneath the foot. And this one, this is the canvas fabric should be placed in your left hand side. So this should be open and you are going to sew only the fabric which doesn't have the canvas. Once you attach the one side of the collar band to this and you're going to sew it like this okay the open side should close like this and make sure these raw edge should be tucked inside the collar band now we will get a really neat finish I'm going to give a small extension to my sleeves and so that I'm adding the royal blue uh, color to this so I thought of adding green but there is no green color. so I'm adding the same blue which comes along with the ponies
Jesus. So the raw edge. So this is how you can give an extension to the fabric. So first join, make sure you join both the pretty side and open it and put one straight stretch and that's it. We are done with our sleeves. So I'm going to do the same to the next side of my sleeves. The both the side of the uh, piping is so too simple and to make it a little bit pretty I'm going to add a piece of fabric a black color fabric on either side of the uh, piping and then I'm going to add buttons to this so for making that I'm going to make um, make a long very long strip of lace make that kind of lace what you can do is uh, take a long strip of black color fabric this is the leftover of the kameez fabric so what you can do is fold it once and fold it again like this and you're going to put a top stitch over here you're going to put a basting stitch keep that in mind because as soon as you sew this lace to your kameez you're going to unthread this lace that is the center lace what you sew the first time so it can be any color thread it, if it's it would be very nice good if you use a contrasting color thread so that unpicking the thread would be really easy for you at the end so first I fold it in this raw edge and this is the sandwich edge so I fold the raw edge and I fold this like somewhat like this and when you turn it out you can see a very neat and nice lace you'll get So we are going to unpick the thread at the end after sewing this with the, with our uh, kameez. So it's better to uh, take a contrasting color thread so that you, fo you won't find any difficulty while unpicking the thread. And this way you make your own color lace. A simple neat lace that you can make at home. Okay, place your kameez firm like this. I'm going to fold a quarter inch in the raw edge and I'm going to place exactly at the corner of the collar. So now I'm going to start sewing.
go to the next side. Tuck all the raw edge in. technique fold a quarter inch and start sewing from the top Now you can see what I'm talking about. So now after adding the black on both sides, my green piping was lifting up my dress and it looks very pretty after adding my uh, black color lace on both sides. And after adding that, you can see that blue color uh, thread running. You can just unpick that and that's it, it's going to be get over. And for attaching the sleeves, so first, take your sleeve and make a knot at the center so the midpoint of the sleeve and just make a small notch and make sure you match up both the pretty sides so this is the pretty side of the kameez and this is going to be the pretty side of the sleeves so I'm going to match up the notches of the sleeve with the join of the shoulder so place it like this and match all the raw edge and check where the sleeve is falling exactly see it's very important you, before sewing the sleeve you have to take a measurement about this so exactly my sleeve ends over here because I don't have a fabric for the kameez so my sleeves end at this point so holding that point I'm going to start sewing Another thing that you have to bear in mind while sewing the sleeve is this kameez, the kurta material should be placed flat underneath and uh, okay so it should be placed flat and you have to hold the sleeves on one hand and you're going to place it like this like the way that you match the raw edge of the sleeves and the kameez and very very slowly you're going to pull the fabric of the sleeves and not at all you're not pulling out the fabric of the kameez but you're going to little bit you're going to pull the fabric of the sleeves and you're going to turn this in so when you get into the curve like this make sure you put the needle in and you're going to lift up the foot and turn the fabric and you're going to sew that let me finish the kameez by joining the sleeves so start sewing from the sleeve and go to the bodice so make sure you match both the arm holes together
okay now I show you how to attach piping to your kameez for that make sure you face the puri side down and take your piping like this and place the piping leaving a quarter inch and you're going to sew that together so make sure the thread is the this is the thread and make sure the thread is on your left hand side when you sew that together when you flip it out somewhat like this so the piping would be seen on on the opposite side so small mental calculation and then you can sew the piping together Piping always gives a very neat and good finish to your dress. Whatever you sew, you can be kurta or kurti or kameez. The piping gives the dress a beautiful look. And here exactly my chalk line end. You can see this. See, I will draw a line the chalk line end so I'm going to go a one inch more than the chalk line okay okay when you sewing the piping together you should not stop at the point where you join both the kameez this is the front piece and the, this is the back piece and this is the point where both join but you have to sew more than an inch in the kameez somewhat like this you are going to do the same to the next side Just leave a quarter inch and start sewing. Now we are done with our piping. You can see how neat it came. And do the same to the next side of the kameez. And that's it for now. We are done with the kameez. And you can see the neckline. It came out really pretty good. And it has the two color. The blue color and the green color. And after adding this black lace the dress look really pretty awesome and after that I added some buttons to this 
till the end of my slit this is the slit end and till this I added the buttons and uh, the output was really nice I love this dress and for the sleeves the same I just added the blue color and I edged up with a green color lace I just turned over and I sewed it together and with this kameez you can wear a very loose a patiala which is in green color or in black color and also this style of kameez goes well with a lehenga skirt but not i'm not talking about this material if you want you can just try the same design on a chiffon fabric and you can wear with your lehenga skirt that look a really really pretty and uh, this I'll show you another kameez I, I think I showed you a year before about this kameez and I know that if you are regular to my channel you have seen this kameez this is also the same model I sewn this is open at the front and it has a same golden border at the sleeves so I'm this what I'm talking if you buy a a chiffon fabric like this which has a golden work and if you, it has a chunky work or stone work in that yes you can go ahead with wearing a lehenga skirt it will be an exclusive party wear and I just upload the picture at the end of my video you can see so that you will get some idea of making a lehenga skirt so that you can match up with the top what you want to buy so I think that's it for now and it is a very super design it's uh, nowadays most of the uh, ready-made kameez and most of the ready-made kurta comes in this design and for the last Ramzan I stitched the same design that is the black color so but I haven't uploaded the video so I today got the time to make a very very detailed video of making this kameez I think you will enjoy this video and if you want to make this as a party wear buy a chiffon make your design and wear with your wear with a lehenga skirt that will make a par complete party wear and if you like my video please go ahead and click on the thumbs up button below and please do share this video with your friends let your friends also learn how to make a pretty dress like this and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future video and to subscribe to my channel is very simple you can see the subscription link on the screen just click on the link you will be subscribed to my channel and also don't forget to join in my facebook group and it's very simple see on the description box i just uploaded the link of the group so just click on that and send me a request and you'll be added to my facebook group too and that's it for now see you next time with a different kind of video and stay tuned take care bye bye